How to access pain? Before we begin, if you haven't watched the video on what is pain, click on the link in the description down below. Okay, shall we begin? Pain is the most common symptom in patients. As it is the fifth vital sign, timely and regular assessment of pain is important. We will now describe a pain assessment tool and some pain skills. Here we have O card, not a real card obviously, but we will use it to show you what the acronym O L D C A R T means. O card can be used to assess pain systematically. O onset. When did the pain first start? L location. Where does it hurt? D duration. How often does the pain occur and how long does it last? C. Characteristics. How does the pain feel like? A. Aggravating factors. What makes the pain worse for the patient? R. Relieving factors. What makes the pain better? And T. Treatment. What are the previous and current treatments and were they effective? Moving on, let's talk about the pain assessment skills that can be used to assess pain. For patients who are communicative, there are the numerical rating scale and the descriptive rating scale. Numerical rating scale is commonly used for orientated patients who can quantify pain from a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 is no pain and 10 is the worst possible pain. Descriptive scale is used for patients who cannot quantify pain. Patients are asked to describe the pain from a scale of no pain, mild pain, moderate pain, to worst possible pain. For patients who are unable to verbalize their pain in words, we can use scales such as the Wong Baker Faces Pain Rating Scale or PAINAD, PAINAD. Wong Baker Faces Pain Rating Scale helps patients to communicate pain via visual images. Pain is represented using facial expressions from a scale of 0, meaning no pain, to 10, meaning severe pain. Yes, this is where you can spam your emojis as much as you want. Pain assessment in advanced dementia, also known as pain art in short, is usually conducted by a healthcare worker for patients who are unable to communicate in any meaningful way and are not orientated. The assessment components are breathing, presence of groaning, facial expression, is there any facial grimaces, body language, is the patient trying to hit you or is the patient restless, and the need to be comforted. Can the patient be consoled or reassured? By using the appropriate pain assessment tool, and pain skills, it allows for accurate pain assessment. Proper pain assessment is important to ensure that pain can be managed timely. For more information on the management of pain, check out our next video. See you!